As you wake up in the morning and it's like any other day, sun shining outside and uh, my general surgeon called me at work to tell me that uh, he needed to see me in his office that day. I was going to the doctor about a, a health problem I had. It was sleep apnea and it seemed out of nowhere. He told me I had thyroid cancer. The minute that I heard the word cancer, I immediately went to death sentence. To tell a patient that they have cancer is always very, very difficult. But it's also an opportunity to look at helping someone through what may be a very trying and stressful time for that patient. The first thing that flashed through my mind was, I'm not going to see my son grow up. I, I cried. I mean, my wife was five months pregnant, and I wondered or worried would I be around to see my, my second child, my daughter, born? Would I be there to see my children grow up? The general process is a, a patient may notice a lump in the neck. They'll go into their physician and have evaluation for that bump. Frequently, an ultrasound study will be performed, which use sound waves to image that thyroid bed area, the neck area, and based upon uh, the physical presentation, the patient, uh, and the ultrasound findings, the next typical step may be what's called a fine needle aspiration. If that is very suggestive of thyroid cancer, then the next step would be to see a surgeon and to be considered for one or several surgical procedures to remove that nodule. Uh, and then after removal of that nodule, if it's thyroid cancer, uh, it will depend upon what type of thyroid cancer it is, but if it's one that's frequently called differentiated thyroid cancer, they'll be considered uh, for a radioiodine uh, therapy. When I was first told about radioactive iodine treatment, I wasn't really sure what it was. I heard the word radiation. I didn't know if I was going to lose my hair. We're sitting in a room with a technician who's in a gown wearing these thick gloves and they carefully pick up this uh, vial inside the lead canister. They get the capsule out of the vial and they put it in a paper cup and then they hand it to us and say, here, put this in your mouth. They're so careful not to touch us and then I have to ingest it. The thyroid gland is going to make a thyroid hormone and to make that thyroid hormone it's got to have iodine. So when one takes the uh, radioiodine I-131 capsule, uh, it's rapidly absorbed by the gastrointestinal system and then it goes through the blood, through the veins and the arteries and then it passes it by the thyroid. That thyroid pump grabs it and pulls it out of the blood and now it's in that normal thyroid cell or the thyroid cancer cell and when it's there it's now irradiating that cell and kills it. They just took me into a room then they took me over to a lead trough and they had the little cup of radioactive iodine in there that I drank and as soon as I drank I had to leave immediately and go home into isolation. I ingested the radioactive iodine capsule and now I'm radioactive and the doctor st starts uh, reiterating instructions that he had, or he had given me before I took the capsule telling me all the do's and don'ts of what I can do and what I shouldn't do. The reaction that I had to the radioactive iodine was very minimal, so there is no hair loss or anything like that. Um, the side effects that I immediately felt, I was a little nauseous. Now as it passes through the uh, veins and the blood, it's eliminated predominantly by the kidney into the urine. The overwhelming majority comes out in the urine and it's important for the patient to stay hydrated and to urinate frequently to help eliminate that activity. It also comes out in the GI tract and it's important that the patient uh, have good bowel stools so that that activity in the stool is eliminated. And in those patients that have lymph node involvement, uh, the I-131 uh, helps increase the likelihood that they can have a normal life expectancy uh, with little problems from their thyroid cancer. I get great support by sharing with other people. Thyca is an organization uh, for all people who are dealing with a thyroid cancer diagnosis. And I have to say, when I go to my support group meeting, I always come home high as a kite. I feel so much better about myself because I've helped make someone else's journey a little bit better, if only for that short period of time. 
one of the biggest fears that I faced after getting over the initial fear of, of having cancer was will the radioactive iodine inhibit my ability to have another child. I was um, very blessed to have another son five years ago. I started out thinking, will I be here to survive, to see the birth of my daughter four months later, to now where I am, which is that I have been disease free for 17 years. And every day I feel like I've had a new lease on life.